Okay, I'm going to show you how to do the impossible triangle. So, the first step is going to be to um, get yourself either a ruler or a straight edge. We need to go a little bit higher than halfway and we're going to draw a triangle. You don't want to draw it too big or too small because we want it to take up the space. So, give myself about halfway, a little dot. Okay. Now we have a triangle. The next step, we need to put a extra little line on this side, a little tail. Okay. And then we're going to do it on this side right here. And then lastly, we're going to do it right here. Okay. So now the next step, we're going to go from this and we're going to go past that. Okay. So draw a line past that line. And then we're going to do the same thing for this one. And then lastly for this one. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing for this line but we're going to stop short. So. Stop short. Stop short. And Up short. Okay, the final part is to connect these lines. So, draw a line connecting that one. That one. And this one. Okay, so now we have our impossible triangle. The next part that we're going to need to do is we're going to need to add our shading. Okay, so anywhere where this line comes in and is blocked off by another line, we're going to add shading in that area. So, so right here. And when you add shading, you want it to be darkest right up against the other line as it comes out it's going to get lighter so that it'll fade into the other side. So I would start off dark and then get lighter as I go out. Now remember you can always get darker but once you go a certain darkness you might not be able to erase it again so don't get too too dark. when you're farther out from the side. And it's just about layering. As I'm going out here, I'm doing it lighter.
and I'm getting kind of these lines that I don't really like. I'm hoping that I'll be able to smudge a little bit and that I'll be able to come clean so I won't have that. As I get towards the middle, I, I want to be really light. I don't want to be, I don't want it to be really dark. I don't want it to have So you keep getting lighter until you can just smudge it out into the white of the paper. Okay. See how smudging I'm getting a smoother transition from the dark into the light. I will have to go back and clean up my edges to make sure that it stays nice and white inside the triangle. Um, and I'll probably have to go over it again in spots to make sure that it stays dark towards this edge. Okay. I'm going to do that same thing. Also, if you notice, it's a little bit lighter here and here. I want to make sure that that gets kind of filled in too. So right here. I want it to be a smooth transition. And then make sure to clean up this line too. Okay. We're gonna do that for each one of these areas. So here it's gonna be dark. Here it's gonna be dark. So I like to turn my paper, it's just how I work better this dark Now I'm going to do the same thing I did before and smudge. Then I'll go back in and clean up my edges, but go back in, add some more darks. Sometimes if you have an actual drawing pencil and not just a number two, it, it helps because then it's not it's a softer lead and will blend easier, but okay. So we got two done. We got one left to go. So I'm going to turn my paper again because that just works easier for me. Smudge this area here. All right, and we're going to start right here, nice and dark. usually create a thicker line right up against it so that I don't get a lot of those areas where you see like a jagged line come across. I don't want that. Alright. Try to work 
on my transitions. From dark to light. Got a little heavy handed there. Just gonna lighten that up. transition here. Just go over top of it. Okay. Alright, clean up my edges so that it stays nice and a nice contrast. That's what we have so far. We're getting a little glare here. This is actually not white. It is a nice, even tone. Now, on each one of these corners where it's white here, I want to make it dark here and get lighter. So, not quite as dark as the other corner, but I want there to be a noticeable difference from one side to the next. Same thing here. Just add a little value to it so it doesn't look like a flat outline. this up. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing on this last corner. Come on in. 